Hi everybody, this is Jamie from C4 Depot, and I want to do a really quick tutorial on how to apply a non-repeating channel to a repeating texture. Now this is very useful if you want to apply an alpha channel to a material that is basically a tessellated or repeating texture, and you want to fade that out and blend it in with maybe something else. And if you've ever tried to do this and you couldn't figure it out, this is the, the key. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with a plane and I'm going to put a base material of dirt on that plane. And the dirt is repeating texture and I want to have some grass that kind of fades into this arid region. So I'm going to apply my grass, scale that down just a little bit, and then what we need to do is we need to go into the alpha channel on the grass, which is a repeating texture. So let's open that up and we're going to go into the alpha channel and we're going to go to effects projector. Okay, so let's open that up and I have to apply some scaling parameters into this. So I'm going to scale that up on the X and the Y to 5000 and then I'm going to flip it 90 degrees, which is what you normally do when you're applying something to a flat plane. And then what we want to do is we want to apply a gradient. Pull the knots in just a little bit and we're going to add just a little bit of turbulence to that to make that edge kind of ragged. And we're going to scale that up to kind of a crazy level, about 5,000. And take a look and see what we've got. Now you're not going to see anything without the interactive render region turned on, so turn that on. And it's doing something there, but yeah, there's some weirdness going on there in the horizon. So we need to turn the cycle off on the gradient. We don't want that to, the alpha channel to repeat itself at all. And so we also need to go into the alpha and make sure that it doesn't tile. So let's turn the tiling off on the alpha channel. So the alpha channel is a continuous channel, even though the grass in the color channel is repeating itself. And so what this does is it allows us to kind of blend that repeating texture into the layer that's underneath it. And we can you know, adjust the turbulence on that to make it a little bit patchier in the, in the alpha channel and whatnot. Let's turn on a physical sky here so we can get a little bit better uh, sense of illumination. And that is it. That is basically all you need to do uh, is to use the projector function in the alpha channel. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and we'll see you at the depot. Thanks for listening. Bye now.